In this tutorial, an interactive web page will be presented that demonstrates the 74 Hamming code, which is used in error correcting communication systems. The 74 Hamming code is one type of block code with four message bits and three parity bits. The 4 bit message is applied into the encoder that generates three parity bits that are added to the 4 bit message, therefore generating a 7 bit code word. This code word is then transmitted over a noisy channel, and at the receiver side, the decoder will use the 3 bit parity information to determine whether an error has occurred. If a single error has occurred, then the decoder can detect the error and correct it and then extract the message. Let's have a look at the encoder-decoder circuitry of the 74 Hamming code. The encoder circuitry is basically made of exclusive OR logic, where the input is the 4-bit message, generating the three parity bits, which are added to the message, thus creating the 7-bit code word. At the receiver side, the received code word is passed into the decoder, which generates the three parity bits. The value of these parity bits will determine whether the code word has a single error or not. So with the help of this 3 to 8 decoder, let's see how it works. Let's say the value was 0, 0, 0. This implies that no error has occurred in the code word. So this output 0 will be active, implying no error. If we had a non-zero value, it means we have an error in a particular digit. So let's say the non-zero value was 1, 0, 0. It means this output 1 of the decoder is uh, enabled, implying that digit 1 is an error, which needs to be flipped by using this exclusive OR gate. In today's tutorial, the encoder and the noisy channel and the decoder will be simulated using a JavaScript program. This web page has been designed to demonstrate SIM4 Hamming code. So here we have the 4-bit uh, message which is fed into the encoder and the encoder generates the 7-bit code word. The code word is sent over the noisy channel and at the receiver it is fed into the decoder which uh, checks whether a a single error has occurred uh, and if no error has occurred the uh, message is extracted and passed to the destination if the decoder locates a single error it will correct it and then extract the message and pass it to the destination and now let's demonstrate uh, the 74 Hamming code let's say the tra the message we want to transmit is this value 1001 we feed it into the encoder and this is the generated code word which is then passed to the noisy channel and at the receiver you can see that the decoder has detected a single error and it has located the error and corrected it and now we have the corrected uh, code word and then the message is extracted which is the same transmitted message let's try another example This is the generated code word. You can see that the receiver, there's one single error here. The decoder will detect and correct the error and extract the message. Let's resend this. Now this time, no error has occurred and the extracted message is the same as the transmitted message. Let's have a look at the web page code used in the project. Here I will only focus on the uh, JavaScript part of the program. When we click on the encoder button, this function will be called Hamming code. Inside the function, we will get the 4-bit message stored into their appropriate uh, variables. Then we feed the message into the encoder logic to generate the code word. The code word is then sent over the noisy channel, which has a probability of error of 0.5. And uh, this is achieved by using the RAND function here and the switch statement. On the receiver side, 
The received code word is passed into the decoder, which extracts the three parity bits. And as mentioned before, if the value of the parity bits is zero, then no error has occurred. And we extract the message and display it uh, and send it to the destination. Now, if we have a non-zero value of the parity bits, let's say 001, it means that digit one is an error. So here we need to flip digit one to correct it and then extract the message and pass it to the destination. More interactive web pages will be presented in future tutorials to demonstrate engineering fundamentals and applications. Thank you for watching.